bedroom bedroom it is week four of the spring cleaning series and we are into the last big space my living room and this is going it's not going to be as gross as my oven last week but it is still going to be pretty gross i probably of all the like except for my bed this is probably the space where I spend the most amount of time in my apartment. I work out here, I read, watch TV, I often eat on this couch. The cat spends a lot of time in this space. My entryway is like literally into my living room. I don't really have an entryway. I have a mat in my living room <laughs> where the door opens to. And it's definitely filthy in here. And we're going to strip the couch and wash these things and then we'll vacuum it and under it as you've already seen I have taken all of my books off the bookcase I don't dust them nearly enough I'm pretty sure the last time I dusted my books was not this not Christmas 2023 but Christmas 2022 I have a lot of books and we're also going to be going through my books and putting some in my yard sale pile that I don't think I'm going to read again and reorganizing the bookshelf. We're not going to be doing much like rearranging or redecorating. This is kind of the only layout that really works in this space. The bookshelf has to go between the couch and the stove. A, it stops stuff from splattering onto my white couch when I'm cooking. It also prevents the cat from being able to jump from, he can't jump very high anymore because he's old. Um, so he can't physically jump onto the counter by himself, but he can very easily jump from the sofa arm to the stove. So it stops him from being able to get onto the counters. And the curtains are coated in cat hair, so we're also going to be taking those down and washing those. And we're also kind of going to flip over the entryway from winter to spring summer. Yes, sir. He has been shedding, so the cat hair is even worse than normal, so. What? There's also this dresser with my fridge and stuff and kind of this, that's what was behind you that we will also be dealing with. Not back there, because we did that during bathroom week, but everything else. I've only pulled out a little bit of the couch and that all. Also, this was a clean sheet for my lint roller. That's my hair. That's not even the cat. naked as you can see there's a bunch of stuff stored under there but I mean I knew it was gonna be nasty like this so let's vacuum this up and then I won't be afraid to walk back there anymore so oh my god look at under the heater I don't even know if you can see that
so now that kind of like the uh, layer of grime removal, I guess we could call it, is done. I'm actually gonna take a little bit of a break because my va the battery on my vacuum is almost dead and it's almost two o'clock, so I'm gonna eat lunch. And then we will take down the curtains, I think, and add them to the laundry pile. And then I think we're gonna tackle what the stuff that's under there for a bit of reorganization. All right, we are back. I have the second load of the couch slip covers in the wash and the first load in the dryer. So we are starting to get there. I'm gonna go ahead and take the curtains down and then empty out the rest of the stuff and then we'll get into like the wash, vacuuming and washing the walls, the window boxes. There are a couple command hooks that I've been having a really hard time getting down and we're gonna tackle those. I'm nervous for that part. I'm also nervous because I hemmed these curtains with the exact same hemming webbing, iron on hemming tape stuff that I used in my bedroom. And if you watched that episode, you know exactly how that turned out. It all disintegrated in the wash and I haven't been able to find it since. So I might be turning my heat off today, at least in this room. <laughs> um, let's go, I guess. <laughs> film. I filmed putting some of the couch covers back on, but I don't think I fitted, filmed putting that armrest on. And then I vacuumed, I pushed the couch even more forward, as far forward as I can, and then vacuumed even more back here. Next, I had to recharge the vacuum battery again. So next I'm going to dust all of these, clean the windows, and then I think 
Then we'll probably, I hope we'll have enough charge to vacuum the baking soda off the couch. And then by then the last back bit should be out of the dryer. So we'll be able to put that on and then put the couch back together. And then I think what we're gonna do is the books. Although that might be something that I have to not film, like the actual going through and just film the putting away, because I feel like we're gonna have decisions to make. expecting it to be. However, I do have a massive, massive stack of books that I'm requiring that I read again before I make decisions upon them. Um, it's actually kind of, I might need to go through that again. Um, these books were so dusty. It was honestly kind of gross. Actually, I'm going to change this up. This, these guys. Also, I'm considering painting this hot pink. It would be very random. It would not go with anything else. Um, I just think it might be fun. So if you have any thoughts, please uh, let me know, positive or negative. I was also considering like a purple or a lilac, um, lavender, but I'm kind of thinking about painting this hot pink. covered in dust and it's getting dark but the books have all been set up It is now completely dark in my apartment and I'm going to shut it down for the evening and I'm going to show you where we're leaving everything for this Saturday. This is the only lamp I have on because my other lamp is still plugged it or not back because I haven't cleaned it yet. So. so the books have been sorted. These are the ones that I'm going to put in my yard sale pile. And then we still have to tackle that and there's going to be more books for sure to go to my yard sale pile. Um, the curtains are in the dryer. My couch is pristinely clean, as is my bookshelf. I'm really pleased about that. These have been dusted and the windows have been cleaned. These two inside and out. So I did have to bring back in a whole bunch of stuff from outside, but, and then this blanket is dry and back and there's the other blankets that I mentioned. Sorry, it's so dark. 
So I will see you in the morning and we will finish this up. I have a feeling I can finish this up in a couple hours tomorrow. So that's exciting. Happy sunny Sunday. Look at this. Look at that weather. I've already been for a walk today and now it is time to get down to business. It is 12.30 and I have a meeting for my volunteering at 5. So we have some shit to get done. And I'm already sweating. <laughs> and all I've done is get ready. So I think we need to turn down the heat or turn off the heat in a couple of rooms and get some screens and windows. But first we're gonna get the living room back together. So I just what's left is to go through this little tower thing, get the curtains. I think I'm gonna get first, we're gonna get the curtains hung up. And then I can push the couch back. Then I'm gonna go through this thing and then I'm going to clean this and get it put back. Then I'm going to vacuum the doormat and bring that back in. And wash the boot tray and bring that back in and go through the shoes that are on the boot tray. Then I'm going to get this sorted and then we'll come over here behind you to my dresser and TV stand. favorite bits about getting to have my scarves and stuff out of here is that in the summer I tend to switch my bag up a wee bit more so I get to return this to what I like its purpose to be which is like my bag swap station I guess <laughs> So this corner is basically complete. So I have my lamp back. I might think I need to actually move it in so that it's actually over where I read a needle point. Yeah, that's better. And then this little side table, can I? Why is it so dark? There we go. And then this thing. So I actually completely removed my TBR from this for two reasons. A, it makes this thing super heavy and hard to move. And this is the one piece of furniture that I find I'm constantly like shifting slightly. It's not ideal, but it does what I need it to do. And it was like $20 at Giant Tiger. So this is my get out the door one. This is like my hobby one. So I have tennis balls, film and my film camera. And then I would like to sometimes wear wrist weights on my walk and then the main purpose of this was to get my router off the floor and so the router has been dusted all the shelves cubbies I don't know what to call it are clean and I have space for more stuff if I need it so 
And the couch is back in place. So, it is so clean, like truly. Okay, next, next, I think is going to be dusting this. I don't do it that often because it's so intricate. So I'm going to vacuum up the bug that's on the floor and then sit down and start dusting this. Every time I polish this thing, I say to myself, it looks so good, I should do that more often, and then I proceed to not do it for like a year. But it does look so good when it's polished and like the wood looks cared for, so I have to start doing this regularly. Maybe this could be a monthly reset task. That's a good idea, actually. So it's like basically the same, just slightly more organized and vacuumed. So I'm chill with that because it's not like anybody sees it.
is insane. I know. But thank you so much for coming along with me as I deep cleaned my living room. I hope it brought you some satisfaction if that's what you're here for or motivation if that's what you're here for. I will be honest, there are a couple things I'm going to do to make it more suitable for my reality. I'm going to hang a couple more bags up. I have to bring in the shoe tray and go through all those shoes. But I am running out of time before my meeting and it looks so pretty right now. So <laughs> I'm going to end it off looking unrealistic and perfect and sign off here and I hope you have enjoyed next week is a very scary room everything that I've been clearing out along this process has ended up in one room and it's rough um so that will be more of like an organization video than a deep clean video because that room got a, did get a deep clean not that long ago but I am going to sign off here and enjoy the rest of my Sunday, my sunny Sunday afternoon. Have a great week and I will see you next week. Have a good day. Bye.